National Affairs Editor Javed Ansari with me on this big story. Javed, Sushma Swaraj said she resisted this. There was stiff dissension on her part. Arun Jaitley says concentrate on the bigger goal. There's a war within the BJP, Javed? It would indicate so. We know for sure that all is not well between the two leaders of the opposition. However, for this, for this sniping to become public now, uh, on the eve of the elections, uh, doesn't reflect very well on the BJP. And for a party which is riding this momentum, why are leaders at war with themselves? They're only harming themselves and in the process, the party. Why are big leaders in the BJP harming themselves is the question that Javed Ansari is asking. The issue here remains, it is not just Sushma Swaraj Javed. There is a list of BJP leaders and top leaders of the BJP. Whether it's Lal Krishna Advani, he's been sulking for some time now. He didn't attend the Goa National Executive of the party. He wasn't on board uh, Narendra, when Narendra Modi's name was announced. He went on to say that Narendra Modi seems to be becoming bigger than the party. Murli Manohar Joshi appears to be sulking over Varanasi. Navjot Singh Sidhu is sulking over Amritsar. Shatrugan Sinai is sulking over Patna Sahib. Giriraj Singh is sulking over Nawada. What's happening in the BJP? Well, what is happening is that things appear to be spinning out of control. And it, and it doesn't augur well for a party, like I said, which is riding a momentum. You know, for a party that, is, that, is, that sounds confident, it needs to behave in a confident manner as, uh, confident manner as well. We know for sure that the two leaders of the opposition have not been on, on the same page on various issues. But to air their, but to air their differences so openly, okay. well, it just give their, give the, gives their opponents added ammunition to have a go at them. Okay, let's move on to the other big story we're tracking here on headlines today. The BJP's big ticket announcement as per sources, the BJP has almost finalized seats for its heavyweights despite a split on the issue of Varanasi and Lucknow. Narendra Modi is almost certain to be the party candidate from Varanasi, Rajnath Singh from Lucknow. Arun Jaitley, leader of opposition in the Rajya Sabha, will try his luck for Lok Sabha and he will contest from Amritsar is what top party sources are telling headlines today. Sitting MP from Amritsar, Navjot Singh Sidhu is unhappy. Though he has been given an option to change his seat, either choose West Delhi or Kurukshetra, but he says it is either Amritsar or not at all. Murli Manohar Joshi has been asked to shift to Kanpur. This is a Headlines Today exclusive. Sharad Pradhan joins us from Lucknow. Sudhindra Bhaduria is with us on the broadcast. Sambit Patra is a member of the BJP. Javed Ansari with me here in the studio. Sambit Patra coming to you first. 10 years, 10 years BJP has been in the opposition, Sambit Patra. But even as the party takes on this poll battle, there are. this is a party with major differences and not a party with a difference. Not at all. Most of the differences that you are quoting today, I believe, are manufactured dissents and manufactured differences. That number of people, in fact, have been quoting. There is no difference within the party. And in fact, I have been hearing the, uh, hearing the bites of what the tall leaders have today given. Mr. Navjot Singh Sidhu said categorically that, well, yes, if uh, for Narendra Modi and for Mr. Arun Jaitley, I'm always ready to give away whatever I have. It's for the benefit of the party. And Shatrugan Sinha? Everyone is for the party. Each one of them have come out in the open, have faced the cameras, eyes and eyes, and they have said that we are for Narendra Modi. We are for the development of the party. We are for so government. So, is it is it Narendra Modi from Varanasi? Is that a done deal? Done deal or not done deal will be known after a while. We have to have patience. That is the game in politics. Sharad Pradhan, Narendra Modi from Varanasi is the buzz from the BJP headquarters. Is this? Is this that muscular Hindutva image that Narendra Modi wants to send out from, from Somnath to Vishwanath? Is that the image? Well, well, that is how the message is going, but I don't think that is true. Because um, uh, Narendra Modi initially was interested in Lucknow. And this is seven months ago, a team from Gujarat had come to do a recce here, whether Lucknow would be a safe seat for him. Because Lucknow was preferred to Varanasi for a simple reason that Narendra Modi wanted to uh, do, is, am I, uh, appear as some kind of an inheritor of uh, successor to uh, Atal Bihari Bajpayee, who had been BJP's Prime Minister and who okay. had got uh, elected from here five times. 
So that would have given him a better pro national profile, a pan-India image to be contesting from Lucknow. But okay. Rajnath thing apparently through spanner in the works by by projecting Lucknow as an unsafe seat for Modi because he, Modi was led to believe that Lucknow would lead to a polarization of Muslim vote against Modi. And I am told that Mr. Rajnath Singh impressed upon Modi that he should not take that risk rather than him taking the risk. Mr. Rajnath Singh would take the risk. Whereas okay. actually Mr. Rajnath Singh was looking for a safe seat in Lucknow. And is Lalji Tandon still sulking? Is Lalji Tandon still sulking? Well, is this well, what? No, Lalji Tandon. I remember I spoke to Lalji Tandon even seven months ago and I wrote a story on it that Lalji Tandon was ready to abdicate the seat in favor of Modi, which is what he is saying even today. But not, not in favor of Rajnath Modi Singh. Not, not in favor of Rajnath Singh. Exactly. Because, because he sees some design in having him eased out because Rajnath Singh himself is looking for a safe seat. He is scared of contesting from MCR. Ghaziabad, okay. as a matter of fact, Rajnath Singh has a habit of not contesting the same seat the second time. Sudhendra Bhadoria, this is a party that has been in the opposition for the past 10 years. But are the knives out even within the party as it claims to move together for that mission 272 plus? It needs at least 40 to 50 in UP. How does the BSP look at the situation? You see, it is not for me to say. You have seen it on camera and Mr. Lalji Tandon has said this very openly that he was born here, he did, he was in public life all through over uh, in Lucknow and therefore he is not willing to abdicate it for Mr. Rajnath Singh. So the fight is out there in the open. Even in Banaras, uh, there were slogans and posters put on the wall, uh, Kashi hai Joshi ki, Kashi hai Modi ki. And when there was a fight between both the Joshi and Modi supporters in Banaras and as we learn from you that Mr. Giraj Singh in Bihar to Mr. Uh, Navjot Sidhu in Amritsar, there is a fight going on uh, in the BJP across. We have also seen uh, Shushma Swaraj come yes. out openly against somebody who has joined uh, in Karnatak. That's why so right, BJP is in a disarray, BJP is in a disarray and by bringing in Modi in Banaras, they just want to flare up the communal situation. So there is a communal divide. Is and that the agenda, Samrat Patra? And Modi. Is that the agenda? Communal divide. You, you, the muscular Hindutva image. It may be the development plank for rest of India, but when it comes to Varanasi, when it comes to Banaras, it is Somnath to Kashinath to Vishwanath. Gaurav, first and foremost, before I answer this, uh, Mr. Badoria is a senior colleague of mine. I respect him a lot. I would advise him. He knows the ins and outs as if all the speculations that is taking place. He knows everything about the Bharti Janta Party. I would advise him that the elephant is going weaker by the day. He should arrange some fodder for the elephant instead of thinking about what will happen to the lotus. Now coming to the important issue of what will happen in the BJP, the Hindutva agenda that you were talking about. Let me bring in to the fore the SIT report which has just been tabled about four or five days ago. There was a whole uproar as to BJPians having caused the Muzaffar Nagar riot by the same party that has been represented over here also. But what happened to the whole chaos that was being created? The SIT report clearly states that if there were a certain section of people who were responsible, they belonged to the so-called pseudo-secular parties. They belonged to the BSP, they belonged to the Samajwadi party, and even they belonged to the Congress. None of them belonged to the Bharti Janta party. Yes. If this is the kind of secularism that we are talking about, I would say that Varanasi, which is the soul of India, I would not say the soul of Hinduism, is one of the welcome places from which Mr. Narendra Modi may, may not. I do okay. not know. It's Respond to that, Sudhendra Bhaduria. It's a bogey of communalism that so-called secular parties raise. You see, the whole country knows and uh, we have seen what happened in Gujarat in 2002 and we have also seen how the VHP leaders met Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav in the month of uh, July, August in last year and soon after that what happened in uh, Muzaffar Nagar. Prior to that, these both forces have been hand in glove somehow trying to flare Mr. up Madhuriya, the what about the SIT report? Please talk about the SIT report. The, most important issue Three that of your member of parliaments have been Modi. named. 
What about the SIT report if on Muzaffar Nagar riots? Is the real national leader? If Modi is the real national leader, no, why, why does Mr. Modi come into the Muzaffar Nagar riots when your Kerala, leaders have been named? Please, let's have some academic discussion Purusha, on such a huge challenge. Bengal, he does not. He has a design in his mind to come to Banaras and then. Make when you have divide. no but answers, are aware. then rhetorics people are the are rhetorics are cautious. Cautious. Javed, they is this rhetoric, the is this rhetoric in the face of absence philosophy. of answers, Javed? Point out something here. Look, the, Mr. Modi's opponents have tried to take him on on the question of 2002. Some have tried to take him on on, on his development plan. They believe that a lot of what he says is hype. It's exaggerated. But the fact of the matter is that that his opponents have not been able to present a cohesive strategy so far. And that's why you see Mr. Modi riding triumphantly while the others are now playing catch up. For the BSP, for the SP and the for, for the Congress, now the true test will be to take him on in Varanasi and to prove if they really, uh, to prove what they're saying is true, uh, the voters will have to decide. Okay, let me bring in headlines today is Aditi Anand Narayanan who's joining us from the BJP headquarters. Aditi, is it taking time because there are there is dissent? Is everybody on board the decision? Will Narendra Modi contest from Varanasi? Does Murli Manohar Joshi shift to Kanpur? Does Rajnath Singh shift to Lucknow? Is that the equation that's happening? Gaurav, in fact, it's been more than two hours that the discussion on Uttar Pradesh seats have been uh, have been going on. In fact, even now, uh, the, inside the CEC meet, what, it, what we're getting to know is uh, Uttar Pradesh is still going on. The discussions on the names of Uttar Pradesh is still going on. However, more or less, the consensus have been uh, met. In fact, uh, top leaders like Murli Manohar Joshi and Rajnath Singh on their uh, candidature, everything has been sorted out. In fact, earlier, um, a veteran leader, Murli Manohar Joshi, was unhappy with the fact that he was being asked to vacate his uh, sit, uh, his current seat of Varanasi. However, the RSS and the BJP together held uh, the party uh, top brass and managed to convince uh, uh, Murli Manohar Joshi, who okay. clearly uh, told uh, top brass today in the parliamentary board meeting that he is ready to vacate his seat and he's ready to go to Kanpur without any major protest. So as far as Uttar Pradesh is concerned, Gaurav, more or less everything has been sorted. All the leaders have been uh, put into place and now it's just moments from now when we can hear most likely the formal announcement of Narendra Modi, Rajnath Singh and Murli Manohar Joshi can be made today okay and Sharad few people appreciate and understand UP better than you UP politics take us through Im the impact of Narendra Modi contesting from Varanasi on the Purvanchal seats and the cascading effect if at all on the seats in Bihar what impact will Narendra Modi's candidature have well, uh, uh, first of all, let me let me point out one thing that uh, to jump to a conclusion that uh, Modi is contesting from Varanasi because they want to hype the Hindutva uh, issue, I I don't agree with that because uh, watching Modi in all his rallies, uh, seven of the eight rallies I have attended in UP, and that man is systematically not taking, not mentioning at all, not even touching upon any of the controversial issues. And because, because there is a reason behind it, he knows that the Hindutva voter is already in his pocket. So yeah. what he is trying to tap is that moderate Hindu who is not the traditional BJP voter and that is what is going to give him the edge. And okay. that is what appears to be giving him the edge because a lot of youth is rallying, ready to rally behind him on this, because of this reason. I agree. Even even a section of the small section of the Muslims has started thinking okay. that there is a man who appears to be changing. So okay. there is no reason why he should be playing that up. But yes, it will definitely have a cascading effect on large parts of Eastern UP where BJP doesn't have a presence at the moment. Okay. Because mind you, one thing is one thing is very significant that the vote that the BJP is getting this time is not in the name of the party. It is in the name of Modi. This okay. is a phenomenon which I witnessed now only after Indira Gandhi's days. That that's a, a very interesting point. By personal. That's a very interesting point you're making, there, Sharad, yeah, that yeah. and and Lal Krishna Advani even even commented on this that Narendra Modi seems to be bigger than the BJP. Sudhindra Bhadoria, which is a matter of which is a matter of fact whether Mr. Mr. Uh, Advani likes it or not. It, it's okay. a matter of fact now. Okay, so so Hindutva is not the agenda at all. Sudhindra Bhadoria, no, no. Sharad Pradhan is saying that is it is the development plan it. that Narendra Modi seems to be if taking you know, forward. Mr. Gaurav Savant, if you know 
the history how fascism grows it is around the individual and the individual has a definite agenda and his ideology which he has represented for many decades and the nation will see it and let the results come we are quite sure the people of this country who have stood by secularism and democracy will defeat this nefarious design of mr modi however we want to caution the people that we should understand from history from all over the world that okay, such people word. have been okay, very dangerous. Okay, a quick word. How many seats do you think Narendra aware. Modi or the let BJP will get right in Uttar Pradesh? Sudhendra Bhadoria. Opportunity to come forward. Okay, B Narendra Modi. His mission 272 means at least 40 to 50 in UP. According to you, how many is the BJP likely to get? I think. Uh, see all this hype uh, which the psychologists and some opinion polls are giving however there is a very tough and close contest between the uh, bjp and the bsp okay. the down so the, 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 the minorities dalits obcs are going to be with us the women and the poorer of the upper caste so therefore we will be much ahead of mr modi gorav uh, okay you're not taking numbers okay the god of the as far as the numbers are concerned we have seen all these surveys and we know what we are getting but some important points first and foremost mr badoria said that the people of india who are basically secular to which i agree would not choose mr narendra modi now tell me the people of gujarat who have been successively selecting mr okay. narendra modi for 3 years that means mr badoria three three consecutive terms that means mr badoria points out the fact that the people of gujarat the gujarati citizens are communal by nature he should say this on the national television today okay no Secondly, but quick point my my focus is up on this debate up up and a very important quick point kabir and bismillah khan belong to varanasi wonderful so, so wonderful sharad pradhan if you were to give numbers straw poll With Narendra Modi contesting, if he contests from Varanasi, what will the BJP? What is it likely to get? Well, BJP anyway is getting you know as it is. You can see a there's a visible BJP a Modi wave across the state for whatever reason. But the I don't see uh, any way that the BJP is going to get less than 40 seats. Okay. The way okay. things are because because every party people are you know when you know there's another point, Gaurav. When there is a comparison of two potential prime ministers. It is Narendra Modi compared yeah. with Rahul Gandhi, and yeah. when you put them on the scale, they are absolutely and so there is no comparison. Okay, That's the for the moment, Sharad Pradhan, I'd like to thank all my guests. We will come back to this top story.